everyone, it's Bobby Jo and welcome to my home. I am coming to you um, with our Tuesday section for um, calligraphy. Honestly, I almost forgot. I'm like, I'm sitting here, I'm doing my diamond painting, Che's asleep beside me, etc, etc. And lo and behold, it dawns on me. I forgot. Okay, so. We are doing D and G today for sure. We'll see where the time is at in re reference to O. Um, but D and G for sure. So, I hope everybody is set, ready to go, because it's D. So, this is a, a shape that we're very familiar with. And this as well, kind of, because it's kind of the L. Now, this is one of those ones where I don't understand why we don't do that first and this last. But I'll try it her way, and then when I'm practicing, I'll decide whether or not it's easier for me to do it after this one. So, it's D... I'll let you pause there, see all the things. So, let's see how we do. If only to see if my pen works for the full time. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to put this aside. I am working on the... Um, I was working... I prepped the... Um, what I'm going to be doing tomorrow for the um, album, uh, the uh, album tutorial I'm doing. So I prepped that and still didn't remember the. So, yeah. Anyways, coming up tomorrow is um, is the... Well, we start, it's not really the decor per se, but it is kind of decor in our um, vintage album that we're doing. So if you're interested in making a vintage album or any kind of album, actually, um, yeah, just stop by tomorrow and or actually, if you're just new here, you'd have to like kind of go back through them and then get to the point we are tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yes, my I am still using the backs of my paper. I have new paper underneath, if that's any consolation. But I want to use this up. So, all right, so let's do this. So I hope everybody's doing well. I am. Oh, I don't know if I told you guys, but I ordered some new pens and they're actually calligraphy pens. So I should be okay. And... I am that was shaky, Bobby Joe. I forgot that I was flipping this upside down. I'm wondering why it's so much ink coming out. That's why. Because I've been using this one like that. And then that. So 
So, and yeah, I was doing my diamond painting. Che was passed out. Well, he's still passed out on the, in his makeshift bed over there. He's decided that he needs to have a bed. On top of mommy's. Mommy had Papa bring out. Bring out the six foot table. Because I was working on so many things. That I needed more room. Papa brought that out. And now I have Che. And he is. I think I'm going to, uh, I don't know. He is sleeping on half of it. It was mommy's fault. He was trying, what he was trying to do, he was trying to get comfortable up there. He was trying to get comfortable on the chair, uh, on the table. So I said, okay, mommy will just take your blankie and put it on the table so that's what we did and he's happy because of it he just wants to be with mario and i whatever room we're in doesn't matter to him Now he doesn't go. He doesn't sleep with us in bed. Um, he will not. He's still not. It's funny because I was thinking it's been about I don't know four years since we've had him, and he's been taking such. He's still taking little mini steps, like. If he's scared, he needs mommy and papa. But if he isn't, no, I don't. I don't need you. I'm. I'm merely. I'm merely um, helping you by being around you. He's fiercely independent. That's for sure. Anyways, he's come a long ways in this time. I know that doesn't sound like <laughs> he is, but he has come a long ways. <laughs> when we first got him, he would think nothing of biting <laughs> scratching whatever. And uh, he's a good boy. And um, yeah, so he is passed out currently. And uh, yeah, and he is getting his first Amazon package tomorrow. We have decided to try him on a leash, mostly because he just wants to be outside with us. He, uh, He goes for, and, and, and stares at us out the windows, and it just kills me. But. So we'll try it. You never know. Ordered him flea medication. Because, of course, he never has flea medication because he doesn't go outside. 
anyways I may video tape it and see if it he progresses enough that one moment here sorry about that so yeah so we'll see how he gets on with that yeah I'm going to bring this around like this. Then I'm going to do that little thing. I don't know. Nope, that's not working at all. So... You would think these would be relatively easy, but my hands are not making it relatively easy. Oh, I did them opposite again. I'm going to need to practice it like like this first just making that movement when I'm when I am practicing it I'll have to kind of just make that for a while and get even with it just to get muscle memory so let's move on to G so G, <laughs> if I couldn't get D, I highly doubt I'm going to do very well with G. Anyways, G. <laughs> so you wrap this around. Then you wrap that up there around. Then you make your little line and then you bring this down. So, I'll let you pause. There's what it should look like. Alright, let's do this. Nobody said I'd be good at it. <laughs> Nobody said it. <laughs> um, okay, so. As long as I practice, I do pretty good. It's the practicing I must make sure I do well. No, that didn't take.
Oh, that one wasn't too, too, too bad. I would love to hear what you guys are up to. I uh, look forward to seeing what other people are doing, especially during the summer. Has anybody gone camping or anything like that? I know that um, Carlene um, Gilpin does. He uh, has a mo um, motorhome, I think, a uh, fifth wheel. I don't know which one. Mario and I used to camp a lot during the summer. We would uh, do tenting. I used to love being listening to the sounds around at like 5 a.m. and on in the tent. Yeah, it's uh, been a long time since we've been able to camp. We just got so that we couldn't do it easily anymore. But I miss it. That wasn't too, too bad. Mm. Like I said, everybody, um, I know I've said it before, but the idea, I think, is to get muscle memory for these. So practice makes perfect.
have to get consistent with my size. Oh, I have a little teeny bug that came through the screen, I think. Yeah. I might practice these. That and the D. I might practice them on my lined paper for a bit. That kind of swirls around. So let's try that again. No, I didn't do that part right. See how it kind of, this part kind of goes like off. And then this kind of sweeps around, same with this one. But this one kind of sweeps in a little bit. I don't think it's ever the same consistently. All right, like I said, practice, 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 practice. So let's go on to O, because we have enough time, I think. And O it looks pretty easy. So, and it might help to practice this movement. So yeah, so we're curving around this way, just like up here curving around this way, and then curving over, and then coming to join it. And this is what it's supposed to look like. So let's see if I can do this, because every time I think it's going to be simple, it never is. Kind of rounded too much on the top, I think. Because it kind of looks like it's like got a point there and a point there. Gosh, there's all kinds of bugs getting coming in. They get through the window somehow. But it's they're attracted to the light right now because we've got Mario and I both are in here. With the light. That one's not bad.
windy out because I can hear our wind chime. And considering it's on the other side of the apartment. Well, I can't say it's my best work today, but we got to practice, I guess, and that's all I can do. Um, my hands are not doing what I want them to do. Anyways, I'm sorry that I took so long to get on to this today, and uh, I hope to have it posted soon. And thank you for everybody stopping by and um, let me know what's going on in your life. All right, you guys. Bye.